Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and you all are welcome to yet another important vlog. So today's vlog is about prescription writing. How to write a proper prescription, how to prescription write and we often get confused ki what medicines we should write, what is the protocol of writing the medicine but there are few steps which I need to tell you before writing any kind of prescription. So whenever we are writing any kind of prescription, the first important thing is the name of the patient, then the age of the patient and the sex of the patient and the most important thing, the date. So these things we often miss in the prescription, we start directly the medicines, sometimes we forget the date, sometimes we forget the name also. So we should not do like this. So this is the first protocol, the first part of the prescription includes your name the patient's uh, age and sex and also there is date okay before the prescription so how should you make the prescription so first of all whenever you are uh, making your prescription for a dental clinic so it should be a good bond paper first of all then after that uh, your name should be there consulting hours then your maybe if you are a professor somewhere or you are working somewhere then you can write under that designation then you can write your phone number and email id in the prescription don't make the prescription too colory or too colorful or with lot of things and with all degrees like FAGE and jo bilkul koi meaning nahi uska right so now coming over to the drugs what is the main mistake we do while writing the prescription writing too many drugs yes so, do you ever remember taking any kind of medicine, medicines for a long period of time? So, what is our mentality is like, okay, after the proposed course of time, suppose the antibiotic is given to the patient, augment 625, okay, patient takes it for 5 days, patient has done extraction, Agar, if you have done an RCT, I will tell you maximum 90% of the patients will only take the medicines for 2 days only. They don't take the medicines for the entire course. Do din mein pain khatam ho jata hai, uske they stop taking the medicines. So the first mistake you will be doing writing too many medications because by seeing the prescription only, it is a mirror of your what you have written actually. And that prescription is so important. This prescription will go to a medical legal case. The prescription will go to another dentist or may the prescription may go to some other country and show your prescription. The name, age and date is very important. Then after that, whenever you are writing the medications, that also really reflects your personality, right? Abhi WhatsApp mein itne saare memes aate hain, Facebook mein itne saare memes aate hain. Usme prescription different different type ke aate hain, degree mein goal mara rata hai. Toh, that really uh, shows your clinic and your credibility and also your degrees what you have done. So, it should be written properly, right? Am I right or wrong? So, whenever you are writing the prescription, before that, you have to mention the chief complaint of the patient because that is the main thing you have to write. Right, so patient complaints of pain or bleeding, whatever it is, you write that. After that, so it's your not your dental college prescription, it's a prescription of your clinic. Right, so after that, on the right hand side of the prescription, you should write about what and all problems the patient is having, like caries, root stumps, and what all things the patient like they need to get it done. Advice for RCT extraction, and when writing the medicines. Don't try too many medications, don't fall on the trap of the uh, Joby MRs, vagara. they'll tell you, I'll give you this, I'll give you that. But whatever medicine, the first basic principle should be, whatever medicine is only required for the patient, write that only. Suppose a patient is coming for dental hypersensitivity, okay, you give a pace for dental hypersensitivity. Along with that, I have seen people writing antioxidants. That is totally baseless, useless. So, only write dental hypersensitivity medicines, don't write other medicines for that patient because the patient will buy then he'll ask why this patient is given, given. then the chemist will say okay this is the vitamin. So, in at some point of time the patient will think yeah, vitamin kyun diya gaya mujhe, mujhe to dental hypersensitivity hoti. Somewhere the patient will think that okay you are writing over medicines maybe you will get commission and all these things. So, ye ek one aspect hai prescription writing. You should not write too many medicines. You should write medicines which is only required for the patient. Then third thing is that you should not over exaggerate and uh, you should not like uh, write too many medicines for the like list. No, this list magaliya. 
we should never do that and the fourth important thing is writing the investigations on the prescription so investigation should also be appropriate it's not it should not be like that apne cbc karwa liya okay normal hai t3 t4 tsh karwa liya and duniya bhar ke serum kriya urine jo ki zarurat nahi hai patient mein by just asking the history of the patient if the patient is having some uneventful extraction means koi bhi problem nahi hai earlier he has done dental treatment and he has not got any kind of problems so no need of writing aptt inr i have seen like people writing cbc aptt inr then um, just because the patient is having little bit of high pressure so it's not required actually you can just check the pressure at your clinic and if the patient patient is taking the medications regularly see the prescription where he is visiting the mbbs doctor and see the patient is taking regular medicines then no need of writing all this test you can just write a simple cbc or a peripheral blood smear and a blood sugar test after that you can do the extraction or whatever process you want to do over the patient now the second part this is the first part now the second part is it's a very huge topic there is no end to it but still uh, i need to talk about it like slowly slowly hum aur deep mein jayenge to next is the writing medicines suppose a patient is telling you that okay i am allergic to a particular group of medicines okay so that you should mention in the prescription it's not like that ki apne sun liya aur apne kuch likha nahi whatever patient is telling that depicts in your prescription right in a summarized way so the medicines what patient is telling you he is allergic to you should particularly mention and you should also mention any kind of medical problem which is there inside the prescription suppose the patient is having bleeding tendency or the patient is having any kind of wall replacement surgery or he had some kind of surgery before that you have to need to write that on the prescription now coming to the uh, what drugs you should write in case of acute swelling so it's a very huge topic i have already made many videos what medications you should write on the prescription when the patient is having huge swelling you will write antibiotics there are very classes of antibiotics amoxicillin comes starting from amoxicillin to third generation cephalosporins then you can give onidazole that i don't prefer actually o2 and then you can write erythromycin ciplox erythromycin itne sare antibiotics hain so what we patients obviously some patients they don't like to take medicine but there are another set of patients who really like to take a lot of medications okay they self check and they tell okay i should take this medicine for this and they start taking the medications that leads to what you all know antibiotic uh, resistance and all these things will be there so prescription writing is a art actually ab patients ko lagna chahiye ki whatever medicines you are writing is really necessary and whenever you are writing the prescription make sure the drug is available at the nearest uh, clinic or the nearest medicine store or if you are medicine uh, if your like uh, clinic is little bit far away from the city or is in a suburban area or a village where there is no uh, medicinal store nearby then uh, you should keep some medications at your clinic like uh, emergency medications like painkillers or you can also keep some injections of painkiller like dinapar aq ab dentist ke paas mainly patient kyu jata hai pain kam karne ke liye right so you should have emergency painkillers like ketrol sp ketrol dt zerodol and some muscle relaxants you should keep at home and then you can, you can also have some kind of gas medicines like pan d pan 40 iso d so there are numerous medications which you can keep in your clinic but to some limit you should not uh, keep more than 5 to 6 strips of each of them because then you again then you have to give it get a drug license and all those things so safe for safer side you can keep some medications some emergency medications also which the video i've already made in my youtube channel emergency medicines in the dental clinic and so slowly slowly when you will practice slowly you will learn the art of writing prescription because i have seen many interns like when they are about to write the medications their face is turning towards me and they are asking sir kya likhe you are a intern you have to write it right it is your duty and you have to abhi tak nahi sikha to ab sikho and uh, you have to write at that time you should not see each other's face on your senior's face or pg's face so you should be that confident so today we'll wind up with this and again more videos will be coming regarding rct and a uh, few products i have received uh is coming review karne wala hu kuch dino mein so take care love you all bye bye and uh, do follow me on insta sai and student don't forget that and uh, recently i have started consulting again so thank you all and uh, i had a wonderful trip uh, last 7 days uh, in amritsar and dalhousie and uh, it was very good experience 
and I've shared my pictures also in Instagram. You can check Sai underscore Dental. And uh, take care. Love you all. Bye bye.